jail is traceable in event if they would found, especially from time to time, jail have different formations, different sites, different Maya areas, we use different signs. These signs would be placed on these items if they were used for sacrificial or any meaning to them. At one point, I could remember they had uh, discovered some jade pieces in the US and it was traced back to Belize. Might not have known exactly what site in Belize, but it had been traced back to Belize. And it went on for quite some time, it was a matter of a few years, they found the culprit in the airport trying to take them to the US. If you are caught in jail in Belize, you would be jailed. That's how serious it is. Not fined, you would be confined, you would be jailed. There is no bail circumstances of getting bail if you are found with jail of the, uh, uh, um, objects in Belize. Because that simply signifies you are looting or archaeological sites. Mm. So that would not be tolerated. And any property, if you obtain a property in Belize, because those, those mounds can be located anywhere within the rainforest area. If you was to, by some chance, obtain a piece of property in Belize and exist on it, Maya structures that nature, the government would take it away from you. Yes, they would, if it has quite a large, depends on it. If, for instance, if you found something, let's say, where out of high is, and that was somebody's property, and they discovered that, that would be taken away. They would replace you with another property. But it's, it, it's illegal, you cannot obtain that property. Wow. Yes, they will just give you somewhere else. Now, in event, if you have one of so those... So that's considered a historical landmark. Exactly. It's a historical landmark. If you, sometimes people obtain properties that would have just one huge bound on it, on, on, on the property. So, even though it is on your property, 